guys, welcome back to the channel. A little unexpected this morning, really exciting stuff going on. I told you guys in a few videos back, and Devin's been, you know, hinting at it, that I am getting a new car, and that day is finally today. I didn't even think I'd be getting it this early, so it's like 7 a.m., and I just woke up, so I'm trying to wake up and be excited, but we're both headed to the shop right now to go get my new car, so I'm excited to share with you guys what I got, but in the meantime, I'm going to drink my Lotus and wake up. Anything you want to add? She built. That's all. Okay. We'll see you guys at the shop. I said on Devin's channel that I think you guys might be kind of like mad at the fact that I got this car. So I'm very curious to hear what you guys think when you see the car. Like I said, it's not here yet, so I'm gonna go inside and we're gonna wait for this car to get here. Okay, I was just sitting up there for a little while and Devin went outside. I don't know if the car is here, but... Oh, I thought the car would be out here. You're supposed to be here 30 minutes. <laughs> You're supposed to be here 30 minutes ago. Well, yeah. I mean five days ago. We've been waiting for this car for a very long time. It came from St. Louis, Missouri, and we've had some issues with this trucking company. Both Devin and I are a little stressed. A few moments later. Alright, you guys, I think the car is here. I feel like I have a lot of explaining to do with why I bought another Evo. I seriously loved my old Evo, Rose, and I told myself if I ever owned an Evo again, it'd be a black Evo. And this is what I found. It's a super good deal. We have a lifted head on it, so I got it for a good deal, but um, it's literally built to the moon. You might want to show them why it lifted the head. I'm just showing them it's built. Yeah, so as you guys can see, this thing is super freaking built and it made eight, eight what? It made 820 with the old setup. 820 with the old setup. So it's super fast, you guys. I personally don't think I'm gonna leave it this fast. I think Devin's gonna fix the head on it and then we're gonna maybe put it on the dyno, have some fun for a little bit, but then put it back to like more of like a daily driver, maybe 500 horsepower, maybe 600. I'd probably say six is probably solid. 600. Six so on E. I have so many plans for this car. I've looked at so many parts for this car because it's not necessarily my style. Now the engine bay is because it's beautiful. Look at this carbon fiber right here. Oh, that's for sure going on my car. No, it's not. I ha yeah, I have so many plans. I'm so excited to take you guys on this journey with me, but also, did you look at the inside? No. There's like suede detailing too. It's pretty cool. You're capping. No. Let's go look. Follow me. Is she clean? Yeah. Needs a uh, wash though. See? Suede. Oh, and nice. And that right there. Oh, nice. I like the gauge setup. I hope you guys aren't mad at me that I got an Evo again. We have Evos everywhere, but I had to. And I'm not getting rid of Gary. If you guys think I'm going to get rid of the STI, I'm not. Well, you might after you drive this car for a while, and then you're like, yeah, Evos are better. I don't know about that. Honestly, performance-wise, the Evos, I feel like the driver experience is where it's at. That's why I have an Evo again. It's so much fun to drive. But the SGI for the luxury also is unbeatable. Luxury, huh? I wouldn't consider your STI a luxury. It is like no, the- no, no. Let me explain it. My personal preference, Evo 10 if you want to like, have fun and haul ass like they're a little bit more raw raw that's... but i would say sti is way more comfortable yeah daily. that's the word i was looking for was raw like you feel more connected to the car the sti is so comfy for a daily so many plans i've always wanted this car this is like also manifestation at its finest because i've literally been looking for a black evo for how long oh, forever. for forever um and this kind of just popped up randomly so i'm excited Sorry, it's not something else, you guys, for the ones that are mad, but, you know, I think she's gonna be pretty cool. This thing's got a lot of parts on it, I've never even seen before. Yeah, look at the tires. Those are freaking meaty. 
I will be changing a lot on this car for sure because the tire and wheels not really my um, this is like race car style. We got a carbon trunk on her, which is super cool. I really, really, really like the stock wings, so I don't know if I'm gonna change that back or maybe put a big wing on her and drill into the carbon. Might do that too. I've never done something like that before. We got a single exit exhaust, which I honestly, I, I don't mind, but that might be changing. I thought it was a tone, man. It's a gritty. I'm super excited. Now we just, like Devin said, we gotta wait here until he's done with his other cars. I'll probably be helping Devin with his build too. Just in case, like, I ain't gonna lie, just because I love working on cars, I'm probably just gonna pull the motor. What? I could just pull the head, but I'd rather just pull the motor. Oh, word. Well, what happens if I pull the head and it, like, I notice some dirt on the block, I gotta clean the block. <laughs> so as of right now, we're gonna keep the car in the shop and Devin has a few projects to work on. So this isn't gonna be touched for a few weeks, which kind of, kind of sucks, but obviously I'm not gonna bug Devin because I'm super grateful that I have him to work on a car like this and he's gonna be teaching me I mean I go through phases where I feel like I know a lot about Evos and then I got my STI now I feel like I know a lot about STIs so I have to switch back over to the Evo and I'm gonna have him teach me a lot when he maybe pulls the motor um, to do the head. I'm so excited you guys. I like to be an Evo girl again. We need a name. Oh my god we needed a name. What are we gonna name her? I'm thinking. Her name could be Smoke? No. No. What? We've already had a Smoke. We have? Yeah. Oh. So I want it to be with a P. P for what? Or B. Berry. Berry? <laughs> Baby, why? Berry. Black, it's black and it's built. Black built berry. I kind of like the name Berry. I like Berry. Berry and Gary. <laughs> Holy shit. Berry and Gary? Okay guys, that's a fish. This is how the names are created. They're just random weird names. Welcome to the family, Barry. We got Barry and Gary. I love that. Good job, baby. Now we need a Laguna Seca M and we're gonna call it Larry. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about that. We thought about um, keeping the purple. I think you have to. It looks so good. On yeah. And then also changing the calipers to the purple as well. The only thing is I really, really like black and red as a combo. I don't know if I could see it being purple. Like, I don't know if that's really my style. Bobby, it is your style. I don't think it's my style. You know what I think would be kind of cool? Purple? No, it's yellow. Not like the lime green yellow, but like yellow yellow. Like the color of your gloves, yellow. You know what I think would be cool? What? Purple. <laughs> I might just end this video here, you guys. I feel like I just want to leave it at that. I want to know what you guys think about my new car. I feel like it's different this time around because Devin does get so many Evos, but they're usually like flipper cars. This one is going to be a full on like build. We're going to keep it for, I'm going to keep it for a while. Don't know how long, but it's definitely here to stay for a hot minute. And I'm so excited to get the parts in for it and see what we can do to this car. I hope you guys are excited for the new Barry build. Remember hit the like button, subscribe button, and you guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.